So what's going on guys and welcome to the first episode of our Leicester City career mode and you guys in the straw poll that I did leave not long ago you guys decided me decided that you wanted me to take over Leicester at the King Power Stadium and you guys wanted me to try and basically do my very best with Leicester this is isn't really going to be an objective career mode. It's just going to be basically a career mode where I can, in fact, choose my different sides as I go through my managerial career. So it's not like the Portsmouth career mode where I have to basically... The Portsmouth career mode, I'm basically... The aim is to try and get to the Barclays Premier League and do the best we possibly can with the club. In this career mode, it's basically, basically the same. Try and do the best we can with the club. But if after two years we decide actually... Leicester may not be the best side for us. We can move on to a different um, team, and then we obviously we can um, obviously continue the same career mode, or just start a new one in the year 2015, which is completely entirely up to you. But you guys can decide that when we get down to it. But before we get to that, we're going to have a look at the Leicester squad, which does in fact look pretty decent, especially for a club that's only spent one season in the Barclays Premier League. They had the amazing escape last season, um, and I don't know really know how they managed to somehow survive the Barclays Premier League, especially when they were pretty much rock bottom throughout the whole of the season, and then somehow they managed to put together a string of really, really good results and somehow they survived. They survived in the Barclays Premier League and this season they're currently sitting in the top four with a fantastic, fantastic record. They've beat so many good teams so far and especially when they've got the players like Mares in terrific form. So we are going to actually accept the uh, different competitions here. We can choose, obviously, the one with the most money, which is in Germany, or the one with the least money, which in theory should be the easier one. But I think we should, in fact, go with the 7.6. So I think them teams look quite None of them look too good, to be honest. I think the worst team looks 7.3 million, but we are going to go actually for the 7.6. Go in the middle because we don't want to go too much in case we end up losing. We want to be getting a few million at least to try and help us um, get a very good player to hopefully try and sign. So we're going to have a look at some different things here. Actually, they're the European Continental Shield, which is the competition that we're currently in. The Domestic Cup, they want us to reach the round of 16. So that, hopefully, we can try and do our very best to try and complete that aim. Um, they say that we should be looking for a centre-back, which is fair enough. We will go ahead and look for one, see if we can find anyone decent. And the first scout report has arrived to see if we can find anyone. Uh, Dwight Gale, maybe he could be a player to come in. Um... Kailas might be quite good. Stephen Corker, currently at Southampton. Um, Bruno Equilemanga, this guy may be quite good. He's currently at Cardiff, but maybe he can step up to the Barclays Premier League. I don't want Fazio. Fazio is not very good. Diamante, Shane Long, Woodgate, uh, James Collins. So none of them really do catch my attention. So hopefully we can try and scout a further centre-back which obviously we desperately need and we do have a player here that says coming back to league fitness and the league objective they want us to finish around about mid-table which is completely fair with me and I believe I can definitely um, do very well with that and we have actually been given a massive 27 million euros so a lot a lot of money for us there uh, we haven't actually got much wages but we can adjust that um, but then we might even get a little bit more money as well considering how well we do in the competition that we are in so we're going to go ahead and have, and have a look at the squad it looks pretty decent to be honest obviously Casper Michael by far I believe I think we'll actually make him captain as well I absolutely love Casper Michael so we've got Richard Delight Robert Hoof, uh, Wes Morgan, who is in theory our captain, but he's not the best anymore because his rating is going to start going down, especially as he's hit the 30 rating. So Jeffrey Slup, um, Mares, this is going to be our main Bart guy at uh, Leicester, and he's definitely going to be the player that's pretty much going to hopefully bang in a lot of goals for us this season. Uh, Danny Drinkwater, Gokland Inla, uh, Kante looks pretty good as well, he's quite young. And quite good rating. Jamie Vardy, I don't think he's going to be going up at all. He'll probably be staying around at the 70 rated, which isn't too bad. Um, Shinji Okazaki looks a very decent striker. Actually, there are a lot of green for him. Lots of good jumping. Hopefully, he can bang in a few goals. Mark Schwarzer, we will, in fact, get rid of. Uh, Andre Kramerick, he's got something special about him. So, maybe we can play him and try and get his uh, ratings up. And a lot of few players here look pretty decent. Nathan Dye looks quite good. Danny Simpson, Ujoa. Um, so hopefully we can use these players along with a different few players that we're going to go ahead and try and bring in, which would be great to see if we can bring in a lot of different players. Delhi Ali is going to be pretty much one of my main 
per people that I really do want to bring in. Liam Moore, we might actually recall him from low as well because he looked a pretty decent centre-back. Uh, Jacob Blythe. And apart from that, there is no one else anything decent in there. So we're going to go ahead and scalp a few players I think could be decent players. We're going to go ahead and search for them. Whether we can get any of them, we'll have to wait and see. But Delhi Ali is definitely one of the first ones. So I'm going to scout a few and then we're going to come back when we get the emails back. So we've got an inquiry. We actually inquired about Harry Kane and they want 23 million for the English striker. So what I'm actually going to be prepared to do is offer a striker that we've already got. I don't really want to get rid of Jamie Vardy. Kramerich we might be able to, but Andy King maybe plus about 13 million plus Andy King. Whether they'll accept that or not, I very much doubt it. And for some reason, it won't really let me choose other players like Ujoa and different players to actually go ahead and try and get rid of. And I don't know why, unless it's something just on mine, whether it's just something in general. So we've actually got, we inquired about Delhi Ali, and he says he just recently joined Spurs, so we won't be able to get him. Eric Clamella, they want 25 million for, so they want a hell of a lot of money for. Eric Dyer, they want only 6 million, so we might be able to go in for Eric Dyer. Uh, Yuri Tielemans, they only want 19. Maybe he could be an option. Kurt Zuma, 16.5. Uh, Guedes only wants 4.7, uh, um, and uh, Gray want uh, 2.8. So I will go ahead and offer a few deals here. We'll actually go ahead and try and loan in Delhi Ali because I think he could be a good player. So what we're going to do, just bring him in on a one-year loan and uh, hopefully he can try and become a good player for us. If he doesn't increase, then it doesn't really matter. What we'll do is go in for Eric Lamella. I don't think we will be able to get him because I don't think we want to be spending that much money on a uh, player of... I know he's very, very good, but whether he's that good... I'm not that convinced. I will offer 9 million plus drink water. I know they're not going to accept it. I thought I might as well just put in a big because I do really like Lamella. Eric Dyer, if we can get him for 4 million, this could be an incredible deal. He looks very, very promising. 21 years of age. I believe he's run at 74 rated. Uh, but Yuri, Yuri Tillemans is by far the most talked about player, I think, on Karima because he's got a 90 potential this year. Such a high potential. 9 million plus drink water. Hopefully, but I don't really. I'm not going to help help hold my hopes up for that one. Also, Kurt Zuma, they want quite a bit of money for him, so I don't think we'll be able to convince um, them to come into the club. But maybe we can try and offload some of the person that we've got, maybe Mark Albrighton or Danny Simpson, that aren't going to be regular first-team players, and maybe that we can try and convince Chelsea to let their young centre-back go. But like I just said it's not going to be that likely a situation. Uh, Guedes is currently a 70 rated player, but he has got a potential of 88. So he's got a massive potential. And uh, Demarai Gray also looks pretty decent, but I'm only going to offer only about a million, million 200, uh, 1.3 million. Otherwise, I'm not really going to be prepared to pay that much for him because I don't think he's going to be that most of an important player. But I might, but I may end up offering Albrighton for uh, Demar Gray because that might actually allow um, Birmingham to let him go. But Spurs say they won't let Harry Kane go, which is fair enough, and I don't think we'll be getting him. And Hakan Kalhanoglu, we actually put in a stupid bid for him, but like you just saw, they definitely didn't accept that one. Angel Correa, maybe he looks pretty decent. We can inquire about him. Let's see what they say. Uh, Laporte is around about 26 million, so he's going to be way too much money for us. So we are in fact going to jump straight into the first game, which is going to be against SC Braga. We are going to sim the game. We have put out pretty much what I believe is probably our strongest squad that we've possibly got at the moment. We've got Vardy and Okazaki up front. Then we've got Dyer, Inle, Kante and Mahrez behind them. And then behind them, obviously, we have the legend Kasper Schmeichel. And we end up, unfortunately, losing the game 1-0 at home. So not the best of starts. And we're hoping we can try and get a better start. Otherwise, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting that good of um, wage budget to actually spend on some players. So Benfica say it, they still want 4.7 million for Guedes, so I don't think we'll be able to get him unless we can go ahead and offer someone like uh, Mark Albrighton, which isn't really going to be that much in my plan. So 2.7 million plus Albrighton, hopefully we can convince Benfica to let him go. Uh, Spurs do in fact say they will accept 4 million for Eric Dyer. So we'll go ahead and offer him a contract. Whether he's going to be that important of a first team player, We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I might not even sign him. I just thought, 
I might as well put a bid in for him just to see what happens. And Kyle Crew on 21 million, which is, I'm sorry, isn't going to happen. And uh, there are a few players I would also like to sign in the likes of Nabil Fekir. He is an absolute monster up front, and I do think he has got very good potential in career mode. He's only 21 years of age, and uh, if we could sign him, what a fantastic signing it would be. So we're going to try and get rid of um, King plus around about 10 million, because I do think he will be probably a first team player if we can convince him to come to um, Leicester. So Chelsea, unfortunately, have said that they won't allow us to have Kurt Zuma. Uh, the same with Yuri Tillemans, but I would like to actually try my very best to try and bring him in. So I don't actually want drink water, but I think if we up this to just a 14 million straight bid, will they accept a 14 million bid for the 18-year-old centre midfielder? I'm not sure. Um, Deli Ali could be the first player joining the club. Uh, Rugani said they won't actually let him go because he's only just joined the club. And John Stones, they want 19 million, so they do want a lot of million, a lot of money. Sorry for uh, John Stone, the 21-year-old centre-back. I don't believe we will be able to get him, but what we might do is try and get rid of Ujoa and offer 12 million plus Ujoa. Will that convince um, them to let him go? Uh, it'd be tight, I'm not sure. So John Anthony Brooks, they actually only want 11 million for him, and he does look a pretty decent player. So what I think we will do is offer around about 5 million plus a player of ours. If they will accept, that will be probably the best signing we can possibly pull off. Uh, maybe Andy King or Danny Drinkwater. I'm not sure which one. I think we'll get rid of Andy King because Danny Drinkwater is actually um, a little bit younger and he's one rating higher as well. And player conversations, Hammond says that he wants to play um, even though he's 32 years of age. And I'm sorry, mate, but... You're not going to play. So we are going to actually sim the game up against Getafe. This time we've really got a win. We are away from home. They actually beat Palermo 3-0. Can we actually get a good result? If we don't win this one, we might not get through. And we're already losing 1-0. But now we won 1-1. And we end up winning the game 2-1. Okazaki scoring the goal in the 81st minute. And Morgan actually got sent off as well. So we're back in at the tournament. The 7 million is still up for grabs. If we get that 7 million, I would like to bring in a very decent player to obviously try and boost um, our squad altogether. Um, now we're going to have a look at some a few more things here. Uh, Leon say that Nabil Fekir, they won't go ahead because they're not interested in the player and the cash amount on its own is not enough. So they're not interested in King. Will they be interested in Ujoa? Because Nabil Fakir does actually play as a striker. So 12 million plus Ujoa, that's a lot of money for a 21-year-old striker. I'm not sure whether they'll accept. Uh, Benfica say that they're actually not interested in letting... Um, this guy, Gonzalo Guedes, uh, he looks very, very promising, to be honest. And I do know he's got a potential of 88, so he is a very, very good player that we'd like to bring in. Uh, Hammond plus 3 million, will that convince them? 3.2, so we're going to be a little bit generous here. Uh, he's only 15,000 on the wage budget as well, so he's not actually going to cost us that much. Uh, the, uh, Derek Dyer wants 45,000, so he wants a little bit more money uh, per week. I will actually offer him the contract. I'm not sure where I'm going to accept it, because if we can bring in someone like Anthony Brooks, maybe he can be a better signing than Eric Dyer. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, also Morgan's actually picked up a one-match ban, which is unfortunate for us, but I suppose it's not the worst-case scenario. So we have got a few emails back here. As she had the actual transfer offer for John Stones has been accepted, which is 12 million plus Leonardo Ujo for John Stones. Birmingham say they won't accept the Demarai Gray bid, but Anderlecht have accepted a straight 14 million bid for Yuri Tieleman. So we are going to go ahead and offer him a 20,000 a week contract, a four year deal, and he will be in a crucial. Uh, I will give him important actually, just in case he's not as good as I hope he is, but I'm hoping he's going to be the next big thing. Birchin Truro, they want about 9 million, and Danny Wilbeck, they want 30 million, so that's not going to happen. And uh, Birchin Truro, I might put in a stupid bid for him, maybe put in a bid of around about. Um, Maybe 2 million plus Ujoa, that might let, maybe, maybe they'll let him go for Ujoa. But Ujoa, I think, I'm not actually looking forward to letting him go. I, I want to at least use him in one game to see how we get on with him. But I think we are going to be actually going to come into the end of the episode now as it's starting to get on a little bit. And I don't want to be making the videos too long. So that is actually going to be it for this episode after we've had a look at a few of the emails. Uh, Herfa Berlin say no. Olympic uh, Leon say no and Benfica say no. So that's actually going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it's going to be very much appreciated. And I really do hope to see you next time very, very soon for the next episode of the Portsmouth Career Mode. Thank you.